Hi there, this is J3 and this is Cisco Packet Tracer Intro. What is Cisco Packet Tracer? Cisco Packet Tracer is a network simulation tool from the NetCAD Academy, Cisco NetCAD Academy. Go to this link right here, Packet Tracer, and look for the all you need to do to get this awesome app in your machine. Once you have this app in your machine, go straight to the practice, right? Sorry, right here, the basic configuration of Cisco Packet. Let's download this file, cclab01, from my, my Google Drive, right click it, and download it for your machine right away. There you have it. Once you have this file in your machine, right click it, and you see these, this configuration, this topology right here, working topology. I will work in this router right here, 1841 router. I will use a console via connection, via serial connection with this PC. I have two PC connected to a switch, zero PC, PCPT01 and PCPT02 with the IP address. I will use this PC to test the connection with the telnet with the router. Okay, now right click it and you go to this right here okay this tab right here we are on the router configuration okay let's this disable let's power it up off and let's power it on and go to the silly and see the boot of this console right now the router console right now let's wait there you have it type enter and there you have it you are inside the console right now okay now let's return to our web page to see what we have to do next okay the next thing we have to do is deleting all setting using the commands below why we are deleting all our setting because we want to make a manual configuration right there you have it. You have to type enable, use the Cisco password, and type erase startup config. Let's do it right now. Let's see. Okay, here I am. Let's type enable, hit enter. There you have it. The password is Cisco, hit enter, and there you have it. You are on the privilege mode of, mode of your 1841 router. Okay. Now let's type this command erase start. Let's type tab config and hit enter. And he it, it will ask if you want to remove configuration file, confirm it by typing enter. And there you have it. Let's return to our web page and see what have we have to do next. Okay, that we have to go to the physical tab and click on the off and then on the switch and the router and see what we have now. I am right here, there you have it. Let's turn it off, turn it on and go to the CLA and wait for the boot right away. Okay, let's wait. Okay, it, it will be asked, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? Type no, hit enter. We are going to use the manual configuration. Hit enter again, and there you have it. We are on our root configuration. Let's return to our page and see what is the next step to do. The next step to do is to follow this tab sequence of command. It's a, a bunch, bunch of counts, uh, command. I will type, click here, guest, and 
you see a much better tag table for your convenience. You can print it, but we will make all this command in the router now. Let's go there and make every command in this router now. Okay, let's begin by type enable in this router. Enable, sorry, enable, and hit enter, and there you have it. We are enable. Now let's go to config, configure terminal, hit enter, and there you have it. We are on the configuration terminal in a privileged mode in this terminal. Let's make a name, let's put a name to this router, put in 1841, hit enter, and there you have it. We have the router's name. Now let's disable the lookup function by type no IP sorry domain lookup hit enter there you have it now let's make a banner type banner sorry banner and message up the day with a this symbol hit enter and now let's make a banner right here let's put the message only how for personal right click enter again and now let's type this symbol again and there we have it the banner is there now we have to make the secret password type enable Let's enable password, secret, and the password secret will be Cisco. Hit enter, and there you have it. Now let's allow let's allow the hashing by using this service. Sir, service pass. Now hit tab, encryption. Hit enter, and there you have it. Now the hashing will be used. So they cannot be easily guess it from. Now let's configure the line of the five virtual connection that we will use in Telnet connection. Type line VTY zero dot space four and hit enter. And there we have it. We are on the line configuration. Let's type password the same password would be Cisco fine there you have it the next command will be to allow remote access attempt by typing login hit enter there you have it now let's let's in make the console line will be inactivity when we reach T minus, we use this command X Z. Hit tab, and there you have it. Now type 10 space zero and hit enter, and there you have it. Now let's synchronize the solo site message by typing login, hit a tab, and sync, hit tab again, and there you have it. Now everything is fine in this line. Let's exit from here and we are returned to the config root configuration. Let's configure the console, the physical console port on which the router will be plugged into. Let's type uh, the line console zero and hit enter and there you have it. And the password will be the same, will be Cisco password. And there you have it. The this the line is now the console is now all configured. Let's exit from this line and let's enter in, in the interface. Interface of F 
zero slash zero hit enter and there you have it we are on the interface to configure the interface let's type ip address let's make it 192 duck 168 dot zero dot two five four space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero see if everything is fine one two three four one two oh sorry let's put it a dot here and there you have it hit enter and there you have it the router ip address and subnet mask is entered now let's show you that this configuration is off now the this this interface is down now let's sorry let's see okay okay i don't know oh sorry sorry about that there you have it this configuration is down now let's return to the let's return to the configuration and see if we can put it up now let's but let's type no shot hit enter and that they change to the remote and there you have it the configuration is now is now up in we have to wait 30 seconds about 30 seconds for the router change some protocols with this switch let's wait and see if everything is working and there you have it everything is working fine let's return to our configuration and there you see that everything is right hit enter and now let's type end to end this configuration hit enter again and there you have it everything is working fine the last step is the main step to make you type copy running running come fig hit tab and hit e star e star hit tab again R copy running config startup config this command will save all your work to a non-volatile run and will be saved when the router is off it will load this configuration again type enter and type enter again and there you have it we are almost there let's return to our web page and see what is the next step to make okay here is my web page now step four is to test remote access to router using pc pt the ip with the one address machine on your network okay let's make it right now okay here is i am in my pc configuration pc 192.168.0.1 let's go to this console let's write here the desktop and go there to the telnet right away let me see if everything is working fine fine let's click enter and let's type telnet and the name the number you will put here will be one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot two five four is the router address connect it via telnet connect and there you have it the password will be cisco 
and hit enter and there you have it you are in your router using the telnet via pc one okay that's it that's type exit hit enter do you want to reestablish no and there you have it we are let's return to our web page right now and there you have it now the step five is the roadmap for configuring ssh protocol on remote access but be aware that cisco packet tracer does not support ssh here is the annotation for you to do it in a real router so that you can configure the ssh protocol on remote access this is much better and that's it congratulations you are now a cisco technician thank you very much for joining me here at j3 channel i really appreciate every friend there subscribe especially for you i hope you have a good day take care bye